In our episode, How to Heal Daily Challenges in Relationships, the concept of a space holder was mentioned as major part of the process of healing. Hi, my name is Liliana Martins and welcome to In Your Element TV. Today, we will be talking about the importance of a space holder in a relationship and what are its qualities. We will be working on your spiritual body, which is represented by the fire element. What is the definition of a space holder? Well, in 2015, Heather Platt, a Canadian coach, therapist and facilitator, popularized the concept of holding space in one of her blogs that went viral. She defined holding space as being willing to talk alongside another person in whatever journey they're on without judging them, making them feel inadequate, trying to fix them or trying to impact the outcome. The role of a space holder is so important in the process of healing. If someone has started their healing journey at some point, they will reach out to someone to hold their space whilst going through some painful and difficult times. A space holder must be someone who has developed at their core, either naturally or academically, the following qualities. Compassion, empathy, listening skills, being a provider of safe environment, neutrality, emotional balance, kindness, no judgment, loving, caring, and trustworthy. A space holder will help the person who is wounded go from A to B in their healing journey. They will help the wounded individual to express freely and unconditionally what is going on with them. They will create a safe space and safe environment where the wounded person can voice their feelings, fears, and concern, their challenges and their deepest wounding. Providing a safe space to heal can be 50% of the healing journey because the wounded individual will have someone they trust, available to them so they can express themselves freely. Their mental body unconsciously starts sending messages of tranquility and safety to their physical body which then helps them to reduce stress, anxiety, mental blockage, and emotional turmoil. So next time you are in a situation where you are required to be the space holder, remember to check if you are emotionally balanced and you embody some of the qualities that were mentioned. The same goes for an inverted role where you are the one requiring space holding. Choose wisely. Who are you going to ask to hold your space? Most importantly, check if you have the capacity to hold someone's space at that given time. Your impact in their healing journey is crucial for a successful healing process. I hope today's episode has left you with some food for thought. If you have any conscious ideas, requests or suggestions, leave us a note in the comments box. If you find that we are the right community for you, give us your feedback. We would love to hear from you. For more content, visit our website and follow us at any of our social media platforms. Remember to like, subscribe and notify so we can all go through these times together. See you in the vortex. Goodbye.